Hi guys! I wanted to make a video today. I have no idea what this video is going to be about, but I just feel like making a new one. Um, I just <laughs> I had a, um, a good hour's worth of watching my old YouTube videos. If you don't already know, I have an old YouTube account that I think I have something like 300 subscribers on it. And there are videos from when I was like ages 18 to like 21, 22, and it was very fun and not serious at all, and it was like a lot of family videos or like a, some vlogs here and there, but if you want to check that out, <sighs> don't make fun of me because I was such a naive young child. Um, but it's Curdy Rye, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see them. Like I said, I was very young and naive and fearless, so prepare yourself. <laughs> so yeah, um, wanted to talk about what's been going on. Uh, nothing really, but <laughs> something exciting happened last week. Well, okay, two weeks ago something not so exciting happened. And if you've been following me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, um, I talked about it a little bit. I was a victim of an art theft. It was a small one. It wasn't that severe and it was easily fixed, but it destroyed me nonetheless. Um, pretty much a small shop owner. Um, I won't say who because whatever. The small shop owner took my illustration and put it on mugs and was selling it as her own uh, without crediting me or anything. It was really messy and I'm really happy to be done with it, but when it was happening there was like five days of just me being really, really depressed and I was like, th it was the first time since I started my shop, since I opened my shop a year ago, that I thought that I was gonna cl like close my shop or just, I like asked myself why I was doing it and it was the first time where I, I just didn't feel like it was worth it. During all of that, this sweet, 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 wonderful artist and vlogger and YouTuber named Franard, um, I have been obsessed with her videos ever since I stumbled upon them, I think a month or two ago. She's the sweetest person ever and she's so warm and anyways, I commented on her YouTube video um, kind of asking for advice on what to do during those situations where a an artist is dealing with art theft and in her video a few days later she commented or she she made a video that was kind of directed towards my question and like she said my name and I was like ah like I, I saw it right when I when I woke up um, and it was it was great because the night before I was feeling so down and I was like I'm gonna give myself the day off like I, I need to recover and I had to close my Etsy shop and everything and when I woke up and I, I watched that video she made me feel so much better I recommend you watch this video if you're an artist or even if you buy anything from Etsy um, watch it I'm gonna leave a link to that video please go watch it and watch her other videos too she is a remarkable artist and she's so helpful and I'm really thankful that she that she shouted me out. Even though it was like a really bad circumstance for her to be mentioning my name, like it kind of brought me back to life a little bit, knowing that she was beside me in a you know, in that small weird way. So yeah, I, I think that I have a few new subscribers because of that video. So thank you. Thanks for like thanks for checking out my channel because of it. So welcome, welcome to my channel. It is a pleasure having you. So yeah, since then, I've opened up my Etsy shop. It's been going great. I'm, like I said, I've been brought back to life and I'm feeling recharged. I haven't, I'm still unable to create anything new. I've maybe made like two or three things that would be considered like a finished product or whatever. If you watch my live streams on Twitch, I worked on this this skull illustration. It's an ink drawing. Wah. I'm making this into book art. It's not done yet, but it's gonna be in there and it's gonna be a little bit raised like that. And I'm using a vintage book. It's based off of this book art that I did in college in one of my intro to 3D design courses. 
and I did an eek illustration of a heart. This one's based off of a Tim Burton poem called Voodoo Girl. Um, so there's like actual pins in the heart. So I wanted to do another one like that. So I still need to fix it. I haven't really had the energy. To, I don't have the energy today to do it, but eventually it's going to look the same. Um, and then I'm probably going to sell it on Etsy. And we'll see how it, how it goes. I got some new artwork. I am in the process of redecorating, not redecorating, of decorating my pegboard. For my birthday, my oh-so-charming boyfriend got me a pegboard that I've been wanting. When I'm doing Etsy packaging, I like to have all of my supplies right in front of me, and I haven't been able to have that. I usually have to go like way over to the bookshelf. So with this pegboard, I'm able to have it right in front of me, but out of the way, so it's not on my desk. So I have way more space on my desk, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So I've been looking on Etsy for new art prints. Um, I have been wanting to get a Franard one, but I cannot decide on which one that I want. So I haven't ordered anything from Franard, but that is next on the list. So this one is from Anne Smile. It's actually a postcard. It was only, it only came out to be like $2, two US dollars. And it says, craft is in my blood. And it's this cute little girl. And I was like, it's me. <laughs> Even though I don't have dark hair, like I, I felt immediately connected to this one. And her packaging was super cute. It came in this like pink envelope and little cute thank you card. And her business card is adorable. I might even hang this because it's just friggin' adorable. And these little tiny little little things, little print things. I love them. It was such a joy to get this in the mail because I am super obsessive about making my packages, my Etsy packages that I send out, making them special for each person that orders. And I can tell that she puts a lot of effort into her packaging and it's so admirable. And so yeah, I recommend, I recommend buying something from her. I also ordered from Mab Graves. So I ordered this hedgehog sticker, really brilliant artist. If you don't know Mab Graves, you are seriously out of the loop. And it comes with this little sticker. It's adorable. So once I get the pegboard how I want it to, these are going to be up there. These are going to be up there somewhere. <laughs> I bought these tiny frames uh, from Michael's. There was a pack of two for, I think, like $3. And I used a 40% off coupon. And I'm using those to hang on my pegboard as well. And I also bought these fake flowers and this old beer mug that I got from a an antique store or a secondhand store, whatever you want to call it. It was $3, totally overpriced, but whatever. Um, so I got a beer mug and I got some fake flowers. I can't keep flowers alive. I can't keep plants alive. So I, I buy fake flowers. Don't judge me, please. And don't look up close because they look really fake up close. But from afar, I think it has a nice little color palette. I found this big ass pine cone as well. Looks great. I love it. So this is my incomplete pegboard. I got the idea of this calendar from Franard, by the way. It's super helpful. See so yeah, these are my fake flowers and the mug that was three dollars. Last night I had the most wonderful night with my boyfriend's family. Um, my boyfriend's sister and then sister-in-law and then my boyfriend's sister's brother-in-law's girlfriend <laughs> uh, and we had a an adorable art night um, we were planning this for like two months and we just were practicing calligraphy and whatnot and we had these like cute little cheese and crackers it was very classy very classy <laughs> I'm currently hungover from the one and a half glasses of wine that I had Go me. Hey, oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> no, that's you. Yeah, good job. Thank you. <laughs> I recommend you have art nights with your friends and or family. It's nice. It's exactly what I needed. For the past three days, I've been doing research about what kind of art that I want to start making for like the fall and winter season. And so I'm trying to create original art, right? I, I don't want to do too much fan art because a lot of my shop, it's a lot of fan art. And I only make fan art because I am sincerely in love with the characters and the movies that, that, um, that I create fan art for. So I'm trying to go a different way and create my own original art for my own original ideas. But 
I I find my inspiration from films, from movies. What draws me to a movie is the design aspects of it. And so the past few days, I have been digging deep, like deep into my mind, trying to figure out what my style is and what I'm attracted to and drawn to. I think it's really easy when you're on social media. I'm on so many different social media sites and I follow so many different artists. It's really easy to be inspired by a by those artists' styles and you look at their work and you're like, oh my God, that looks really fun. Like, I wanna try to do something like that. Of course, like put your own spin on it, but you still wanna try what they're doing, even if it's just practicing. And I find that I'm too easily inspired that I am getting further and further away from what I am truly drawn to. My way to avoid this, um, for the past three days, I have been exploring the inner workings of my mind and I'm trying to figure out like where it all stems from. And what the first thing that pops up in my brain are the movies that I watched when I was younger. And so I've been collecting photo reference from all of the films that I was drawn to as a kid up until now, specifically the design aspects of these films. I watched 10 different movies, I made a list, and I came up with like 20 different movies, I narrowed it down to 10 movies, and I was gonna make a video about this, but it's so personal to me that I'm gonna keep it my own. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it private. But I narrowed it down to 10 movies. I watched, I fast forwarded through, uh, through each of the movies to the scenes that I felt most drawn to um, design wise. So like the interior design, or the costume design. And so I have these folders for each of the films and I'm going to narrow those down and I'm not gonna copy what was seen in the backgrounds. I'm going to try to design based off of the look of that interior. Like what would I design for this film? And I'm hoping that I can come up with a really solid series of prints that are gonna be available on Etsy based off of this exercise. And I really want to stay true to what I like and figure it out in the process of doing all this. So I have some things in store. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have quite a few new prints coming. So yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that I could share these little updates with you. Like I said, I had no idea what I was gonna talk about when I started this vlog. Also, I'm gonna be closing my shop in about a week, next week. I'll be closing it next Wednesday, August 31st, and I'll be opening it back up on Monday. My brother's getting married, so I'm, uh, Chris and I are heading up to the Bay Area for that. So my shop will be closed for a few days, but I will be back. I think that's it. If you're enjoying these videos, please let me know. Just any way that you can. <laughs> Do you wanna see Sealy? Mm -hmm. Celie says goodbye. She's purring. She's purring. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. I will see you in the next one. <laughs> but. All right, see you guys later.